Okay, and uh, I think you will have to like lean back for the camera to be visible. Oh yeah, so okay. I was like, I was no, like, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, is there? That's as far down as it goes. So, oh, okay. uh, uh, do some, uh, do some editing in real time. So. fine. Hello, people are starting to trickle in. Welcome yeah. to the stream. Breaking down the first. Do you have a, a clickbaity huh? YouTube I, I title? I give everything clickbait. <laughs> well, Oops. usually Twitch isn't that clickbaity. Uh, I don't know. This, I mean, this one, like, I'm, I'm, bring, I'm, I'm bringing on a guest, technically. We we, we we do yeah, we yes. go all the stop we do all the stops. Yeah, okay, so now you should be substantially more in center if I can manage to you know yes good enough. Okay. And now just like that you should be able to see the game. Is the YouTube chat working? The YouTube chat is working. Welcome, YouTube people. And yeah, okay. All right. Looks quite good. We're we are gonna we're we're gonna rate we are gonna wait a bit. Let oh wait, you're a drought counter too. That's actually huh? good. Uh, I mean, this is okay. Drought, I wanted this. Counter. I, I oh. didn't want to have to use like the like. This is the uh, Nestor Jam scene with like. The absurd amount of statistics, and I didn't want all of that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but there are different scenes that have less statistics, but they don't have this nice, like seek bar, progress bar I thing yeah. down here, which is a bit irritating. Oh, you can see what piece. Run. So yeah, welcome everybody. I, sh I I think I should pub this actually in my server that I own. So. <laughs> I always forget to do this. I also forget to like add people to this. Uh, stream notify doing an insanely pogger <laughs> stacking analysis stream with the dangler. Live in all caps right now. <laughs> dangler being dangler and doing right. dangler things says half to 71. Yeah. Yeah. Just dangler things. Right. Yeah. Okay, we got we got we got people trickling in. So it looks like the looks like the stream is coming across okay. Yeah. Even though the freeze frame showed, what freeze frame are you talking about, Joseph A? I was not aware that there was any uh, anything of the sort, and I had I had to watch this video multiple times to study. Wait, what? What did they say? Uh, on my YouTube chat, there's even though the freeze frame showed gaps, is all the information that I have from. This Joseph person, not interesting. That's interesting. I, I'm, 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 I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're gonna get started in maybe five-ish minutes. Want to wait? Give some more time for people to find their way here. And I'm gonna. The board will disappear for a bit because I want to monitor stuff. Ooh, we are doing so good. And it should be back. Oh, the YouTube screen. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that that that's on me. It's uh, my 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 stream my stream setup is a bit scuffed. Like if I if I switch to like a different workspace on my computer, just everything disappears. I I think this actually makes a lot of sense, but it's unfortunate nonetheless. 
yeah. So how was your how was your day, Noah? <laughs> it was um it was fun. I went mini golfing today. Mini golf. <laughs> Just after school, is this just is is that just a thing people do? Oh no, I'm on break right now. I'm on break. Oh okay, okay. Wait, w- what break? Like spring break. I don't know. My our, my school schedule is kind of weird. Really? Spring break now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I swear you had spring break like two weeks ago too. I did. I had. We've like, I had one in February. You have two spring breaks that are like a week long. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, 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 no. This, it, 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 this is kind of cool. It's just, it's just very foreign to me. Yeah, I don't. I guess we might get out later. Might get out. Okay. Like at the end of. Is it end of May for you? It's like mid July or mid June. Oh really? So when you go to CDWC, you'll still have school? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> okay, that's actually really late. <laughs> Yeah. And do you have to worry about finals or anything? Um, like maybe. Okay. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I still, I still haven't found out. Yeah, I would recommend. Asking yeah. This. Is it Dangler today? M. Jocko, every day is Dangler day. <laughs> is it Dangler? <laughs> yep. Oh. I will invite the chat to ask questions. So if you would like to like see that. Then you can obviously. Is it, is it Dangler Month? Wait, was the one point five even this month? I forget. I don't think so. I don't so. think it was. I don't. I don't. I don't think it was. Cause we were grind. Cause I was grinding during my spring break, and that was in March. Oh. I see. Yeah. Okay. Looks. Good. Oh, one month ago. Yeah. Yeah. Man. <laughs> it feels like things aren't progressing that fast or it feels like things are progressing so fast and like not that much at all as of late kind of weird yeah like alex I like mean... takes like a week between each session he has and every time he gets a session he gets like fucking 16 million <laughs> yeah every time he joins ctmvc that's how you know exactly so yeah okay just a couple more minutes Wait for a couple more people, and then we will get started for real. PLJ says, I thought Tetris was a puzzle game, but we talk about platforming. <laughs> True. <laughs> and Ty- I could have... People uh, alerted me that I could have could have platformed at the end of the, the Perfect Max. And I got, like, oh, really? perfect pieces for it. Apparently. Oh, really? For this guy? I, I, didn't, I didn't see that. We can talk about that, I guess. Is it? Yeah. Platforms are hard. I I think there are maybe three or four people who are capable of doing, like, would be unironically capable of doing this correctly in a game. In in a game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, I I, I really think you have to practice it. You have to practice it a lot. Yeah. Cobalt gets it. Like, honestly, I'd rather. Would I rather the game top out perfect on level like twenty five or just like after perfect max? I don't know. I don't know. I, I I think I think your ending was quite nice. Okay, so Ty Portson asks, are we looking at Alex's sixteen point seven million game? Nah. We are that okay, so that game is a great achievement, but I think with regards to analysis, apart from a few choice moments maybe like a couple of digs, there is not too much to talk about we are instead uh going to investigate the other great achievements of yesterday two days ago two days ago yeah two days ago which i would argue is more impressive in my eyes and that is the first ever perfect game of tetris yeah how's it going bruce uh yeah andrew uh superminds did not get a perfect max up for me he has claimed a one burn has a two burn yes. from transition onwards on a scuffed max out club recording. Yeah. So and has shown as clips of the endings of multiple level tw- I think multiple level twenty ones from nineteen starts. Really? Like I perfect? I think, yeah. No, I what I think he claimed one forty four lines 
from 19. Oh, it was just... Okay, then maybe it was multiple 120, level 20s then. 144 sounds... Actually does sound correct. Yeah. Uh, Ty, the um, answer to your question is the person who I am talking to right now. Say hi, Noah. What? Say hi to chat. Yeah. Hello. Oh, wait. Yeah. The, the Noah's audio is louder. Okay, thanks for telling me, by the way. I... It is hard to balance these things, and the board should disappear, and the board should be back. <laughs> I, I, it would have been so lame if you kept going. Okay, I see, I see what you're talking about. All right. Okay. Oh, Andrew, Andrew's uncle did it in the 90s, but he didn't record it. That's fascinating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. If I, like, burn the line at the end of the game, like, that's just really lame. Scott Obozo screaming in the distance. Okay, fine. First random seed max out. What, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I started worrying about like random seed perfect attempts becoming seeded perfect attempts by complete accidents. Really? If we okay, start I I remember... if we start resetting like insanely consistently. Yeah. And then like stuff stuff will diverge, but Yeah. Okay, we'll get started. Hello. All right. You have come to my stream, you probably know who I am. I am Fractal. I am the two thousand and twenty three champion of the Classic Tetris World Championships. I have won every single Masters tournament of this year that has concluded thus far. And I like playing Tetris. And what I like playing all the categories, not just tournaments. One of them is perfect stacking and I've put a lot of time into playing in a way where you only get Tetrises and you don't burn at all. But the person I am joined joined by, joined with, the por person who has joined me today is by far the one who possesses the greatest understanding of this craft. And he <laughs> is the man who has set the very first perfect game of classic Tetris. This is Noah Dangler. Hello, I am I'm the pace guy. Um I can't really follow up that resume, not gonna lie. I mean you got it. Pace guy encompasses a lot of achievements. Mind telling us about a couple of them? Um I have the the first one point five into kill screen. I have I have a perfect max out. I have a a one point nine three on level thirty six. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I, yeah. How many, how many 1.4s in oh, the full screen do you have? Oh, I've, I've, oh yeah, I have, I have six 1.4s, which is two thirds of all 1.4s. How I have many? Uh, the the person screen. with the next highest number total. How many do they have? <laughs> they have one. One. And so. this guy has six. <laughs> I think. Um, I also have the most perfect transitions. Most perfect transitions is also another thing. How it's many less... did you? So, uh, and you're you were getting them at a really insane rate too. Like, yeah. Last so there was one day yeah. where you got I think three of them, and another one you got like four maybe. Did you ever get? Four? No, I never got four. Okay. I did not get four. Actually, no. Okay, I ha I there. I almost got four. I was set up and then I missed the bar. <laughs> <laughs> So that was close. That yeah. Was close. All right. Uh, for context, people get one, and it's one of their greatest achievements. I think most people, a lot of people, don't even have one. All right. Maybe yeah, there are probably... three or four people in the world who have two or more. Yeah. And uh, no, no, no one has 12, <clears throat> 12, 12, 13. I, I have 14. 14. 14. <laughs> Jesus <Yes>. Christ. <laughs> So today we are going to be breaking down his. Uh, would you call this your magnum opus? Your greatest achievements? I think. I don't know. I think so. It's up I there, think right? just because. Yeah, it's definitely it's either that or the one point five. That or the one. .5. I think they're pretty yeah, close. Really yeah, I think Alex Thatch this has is more like three. Iconic. I would. I want to say. I know it's at least two. Yeah, oh wait, his. Three? That's 
Yeah, he has at least he has two recorded. I, I, he might have gotten a third one. He was the first person sure. I ever knew of who had multiple. But yeah. Do I religiously use Tetris Fish? Not anymore. Wait, does, is Tetris Fish even online still? It, it is. Uh, it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just it is uh, being refactored in the background. Yes. Uh, keep it's... keep an eye out, guys. It's uh. Yeah, yeah, no. Puzzles are coming out soon. Ansel has been putting in the hours, and his hours are worth like a lot of hours for normal people. Yeah. Does anyone know what happened to Joseph Saley? He uh, he's doing he's doing other things in his life. I think from what I've heard, he is like going all in on like powerlifting, powerlifting and music. And he might actually show up to the uh, World Championships this year because it is located in Pasadena, California, which is very close to where he goes to school. Maybe even where he lives. I'm not too sure about that. So, yeah. Uh, all right, enough yapping, I think. We should get started. And uh, it, this is a story from the very first piece. Do I? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. so... All right, and uh, just to sort of explain how we're showing the game, which I hope that people can still see. Yeah, uh, I have recorded the game using Nestor Champs, which is an open source, I guess, Nest Tetris clients in a sense, which is going to allow me to do a lot of cool things. We can advance through this playback piece by piece. We can even ask Stack Rabbits for certain queries. We might do that yes. a number of times. But for now, let's just uh, sit and watch the pieces fall. And whenever we want to talk about something, we can pause. So here is how the game starts. OK, I want to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> this is... OK, I actually think, so I'm pretty sure my, my like controller was super bugged. I think you knew about this. Yeah. So. I was having like a hard because I would press. I would have to hold it a certain way to press like reset. <laughs> um, and then I like didn't turn it back so that where like A, B, and where would work. So I just ended up with that. So. <laughs> so if you started the happened. game and like you were, like you couldn't get your controller back in order before. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> pretty. Much. I guess after the first, after you got you got in one rotation, so that indicates that's. Yeah, figured it out. Okay, this yeah. this is interesting because it's not even like the worst move that you could have made in this situation. Because you do get the pieces to resolve, like so. Yeah, very natural. I, yeah, very natural resolution. But I mean, I got lucky here, like right off the start. I mean, I would consider that unlucky in a sense. Oh yeah, like just having to create that chasm. But now you get that, and you get your first Tetris. So he's going to need uh, 43 of them in total. And the first, I believe, uh, 33 of them are going to come from level 18, which is the speed right here. You got another one. And then next up is going to go... Okay, that's interesting. And then the last that 10 was, yeah. are from 19. So That was not great. Not... Eh. Okay, right, so was... what, 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 what are you thinking? When you go, when I was here. sort of. I don't. I don't really know. I was looking for, I guess, a square, but I got the square, and then I didn't like, do it. But it's... I don't know. Honestly, like, I guess I'm looking for a bar here. You're looking because then I would bar. definitely get to just ready. I see. Yeah, and is uh, putting the bar flat all the way to the left? Is that like your default move? Yeah. Yeah. I think my instinct here would just to be like, get Tetris ready unless like another piece can like make me Tetris ready immediately. Just be like super. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. But yeah, so I yeah, the more sort of the more I did the runs, the more like I realized getting Tetris ready was sort of less important. But maybe it's just me because there was some. I start, This I start, might just I, be an effect of like losing runs to bad Tetris ready moves. Yeah, I've, I think I've started noticing this myself after, like, grinding much more as well. 
So I think I think maybe we got a bit ahead of ourselves. Like I did want to sort of introduce things incorrectly. Stack Rabbit agrees with Dangler's move. Really? Really? I want to see this for myself, and we can do that right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is that's a, that's a that this, but this is a, this is Stack Rabbit 1.0, I believe 2.0. Might try out the twenty hertz average. I'm not. I'm not sure what the parameters are. For yeah, that yes. makes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think. Cause, yeah. Because two point oh is gonna be more like sensitive to bad stacks. I guess. I don't, I wouldn't even consider this that bad though. I guess Z piece next year screwed if you don't. Yeah. Do that. R seven kind of segments the board a bit too much. If you know the O is coming, it doesn't segment that much. I think there's at least, but yeah, I, I can see I can see arguments I can see arguments every way. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, I wanted I wanted to explain what adjustments are. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> okay. so what what is an adjustment? All right, I think the standard model of um, playing Tetris, if you're playing like somewhat casually, maybe a bit more seriously, is you move the piece that you have right now, in this case it would be a bar, to its best position. And then after you do that, you look at your next piece, you figure out where it should go, you move it to its best position, and then you carry on, so on and so forth. The issue with that is that you can actually make better decisions if you can react fast enough to what's in the next box and we have this entire like tier like multi-tiered system of like what types of adjustments can be made like they're given crazy names mostly by sodium overdose <laughs> yes <laughs> but there are it's also awesome. like a lot of really general principles that you can apply adjustments to as well and they they get into some really advanced stacking concepts so I think we'll be seeing a number of them. I'm actually gonna make the uh, game speed a little slower, just to make it easier to commentate, pause, all that stuff. So yeah, this is all pretty standard. All right, so you'll notice that he wants to keep the stack mostly flat. And yeah. the advice flat that is... you might hear a lot in like, say, like Tetris 101 by Jonas Neubauer is that you want the high left and the lower right, much like the stack is right now. But is that is that always the case, would you say? Uh, not when going for perfect, because the reason you have a, a low right when playing like in comp is so you can burn, but it doesn't really matter if you're not going to burn. Right. So you, your right can't be like as high as you want, basically. With maybe one exception, and that is setting up tux is a bit easier, so... After yeah. That, saying, yeah. yeah. You'll notice that uh, I think a few Tetrises ago, I'll try and go back. He uh, navigated. This ended up being a 19 piece drought, which maybe is a bit like sort of middle upper levels of droughts that like you can comfortably handle. Yeah. But I imagine you didn't feel like worried at all at that point. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, I don't remember that drought. <laughs> Probably then, case in points, yeah. And then a lot of Tetris is right here, and now you can wait for a really long time for the bar. All right, this is interesting because this is like sort of a classic, a classical adjustment move. So right off the bat, uh, can you, can people on the stream see my cursor? I think they can. Uh, yeah, they can. Yeah. All right, so right off the bat, Noah, I assume you look to place this piece like sort of in this region because it's the lowest spot on the board. Yeah. You want to bring it up. Yeah. But you also notice that there are sort of two positions for it. You can either sort of put the L-shape flat like here. It's a bit more intuitive. Or you could sort of hug this edge, this cliff right here. All right, and yeah. how do you determine which of these two to uh, decide? You look at the next piece. If there's like a jagged piece, like a T, that would fit here quite nicely, then you might want to make this move. Uh, yeah, the bar comes, so you go with the defaults, the placements, and you get the Tetris. 
in chat. Twitch chat, Trisk points out that some spins and spucks are nice words yeah. stacked towards the right. Certified Trisk guy comments. But <laughs> anyways, yep, pretty standard stuff. The general strategy is pick the lowest spot on the board and try and fit a piece in it. I believe this is about like 75% speed of the actual game. This is so that like we could actually talk about stuff. Oh, okay. oh, that was interesting. That that uh, that was interesting. This is a strategy that you could see all the time in your games. All right, because it kind it kind of looks like just looking at the ears, you kind you kind of taking your hands off the wheel. The piece is just falling. So what's what are you actually doing though? Um, I'm hovering. I'm like. Basically waiting to see what the next piece is, and so I'm just like waiting for the piece to fall while I look at the next piece, and then I can use the next piece to decide where I'm gonna put my current piece. Right, interesting. And Basically this is decide, maybe but, maybe yeah. an evolution of like the standard adjustment setup where you like sort of pick a spot on the board, and then you narrow it down to like one or two places. Here, I would say it's more like you're considering like every single placement at once. So like maybe you'll just let, let it go down. Maybe you'll flip it, right? Or maybe all the way to the right side, as you do, I believe here. Yeah. And I think this is an important point. I I think you could argue that the J should have gone in this position no matter what. For the most parts. I think. Uh, like. Yeah. It, it would be pretty maybe solid regardless, but. Argue. The bigger advantage is that you give yourself more time to like think when do, when you do this, yeah. and that is like another great benefit of adjustments. So yeah, so let's keep going. So at this point, are you trying to like get Tetris ready like really aggressively, or it looks like you were kind of chilling there? No, I I definitely wasn't. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Wait, was that always, like, was that intentional? I always Oops. like the moving the L was, but that was not the best move. Hmm. I might have actually. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing here. Because I think if you rotated, I might have wanted to rotate. It would be really yeah. nice. Uh, just guys saying two, three, four, but I think I like two, three, four less because having like a a right couple of columns that are higher, like sort of helps so that you don't get in a situation where yeah. you need like a delayed bits or a bunch of S pieces or something. It's kind of interesting. I'm trying to think about how you might react, how you might like do that kind of adjustment in a game. Because. So the way that I see this right now, I see that this is a 2x4 hole. And I know that putting an L or a J there, there's a lot of different adjustment options, a lot of different ways to like fill it up. So I wonder, like, would I just like train myself to think, oh, I should wait for an I piece? Yeah. Because that would be better. Because I think putting the Ls in columns 6, 7, 8, yeah, 6, 7, 8 up and then putting the I in 9, I think that's also like nice, and that's more or less the standard. Yeah, I think that's probably the best move there. Right. And we can figure out what StackRabbit thinks. Oh, StackRabbit agrees. Uh, this this version agrees with this guy. I wonder how much, I wonder, I, wonder, I, do, I do wonder how much worse that placement was. And then yours is like a bit, a bit slopey. Yeah. So I guess the, the idea was like that you said. wanted to, you wanted to like sort of create yeah. a bar dependency. Yeah, and then in this situation I was saying before, like you need an S piece or a T. So it's just kind of worse. Oh, did I say down? I meant up. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Let me check YouTube chats. Would you say farming for perfect causes bad habits for comps? Andrew asks. I think it can, but I think it can also make you much better at competition. I, I'd say. Okay. It has sort of, it kind of ruined my comp like a little bit, but it's one of those things where like it gets, it gets worse and then it gets better. I think it's going to pay but, some like real dividends because you, you really, you, you, you told me you wanted to focus on comp from that for now, right? Now that you've gotten all the big goals. There's, yeah, there's not really yeah. anything 
There's no point in doing anything else PC yeah. right now. Uh, Grestrew says, oof, this board. I'm not actually sure this is the worst board that you could have. It's not it's, it's, great. It's not great. <laughs> but... but here, let me, let's me let see. How did, how did you get here? I, it was, I think... This doesn't even seem that... like... I, I guess the consequence of like this kind of stack then. Yeah, that was kind of... Sure. But this all, this all seems quite natural. You get that, and... Yeah. This is a, I think this and is Elvier's an interesting, is interesting adjustment opportunity. You delay you yeah. delay here, so you've moved to the left, and I assume that means that you want to place your L piece. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, there's not really any moves on the right. I guess you can set up a T yeah. spin, but you can also go one, two, three, and then tuck if you get a T. Yeah. And I assume or that means like, that you were looking for putting the L in one, two, three? Yeah, I was mostly looking for a Z spin. Z spin. You just see the shape more or less, or what? What, what was your thoughts and wanting to go yeah. for that? Like looking for the adjustment, you mean? Yeah, like like. W is it just like something that you saw? Or? Is, yeah, it's just something I saw. Like Z-spin is really good there, and it's a shape that, and it's easy to adjust. It's not super risky. Or I guess you can miss spin, or like just don't miss spin. Yeah. And it makes the stack like a lot better. Right. So it's worth it. So I think the. The way that like I would force myself to like try and go for this, at least what comes most naturally to me, is that I see the stack is like a bit bumpy. So I think, so I'm looking for like an L placement that makes the stack more flat, and then that makes me want to consider positions where like the nub is pointing down because then you have the long side of the L piece pointing up, and that is a flat surface. Yeah. So. You like sort of drag that around the stack, and you find the Z spin, which you didn't get. So you go for the, like the next best move, which is right there. All right, there's one good place for that. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know. There's like not. There's not like not really any wins there. But yeah, I'm not. I yeah, this is probably fine. I'm actually. I'm. I'm a bit curious. Yeah, that checks out. That checks out, but I, I I think, yeah, just bad situation. Okay, here, specifically, I hovered the bar. I remember thinking this. I hovered the bar because if I got a square, I could set up a buko. Like, I specifically remember thinking about that. What? Where? Because... Oh, my God. <laughs> three, and I was like, that would be the greatest adjust, but then I, like, didn't get... Scared. Why would you adjust for the buko? Yeah, I guess oh, you like just, just like as, as like an overhang, just like. Yeah. Oh, like... okay, that's interesting. I mean, I would, I would, I would think, I, think... I, I would think yeah. T spin is safer, but yeah, T, T spin is probably just better. Yeah, but yeah, so that's that, that's really but, interesting. Yeah. So here's here's how I I interpret the motivation. <laughs> this board right now is really really shit if you get a square. So you should be looking for every possible every possible opportunity to uh, like make a board that can at least place a square on there. And I guess you saw the buko spin. I think that I th I think the T spin would be nicer, but they both work. Yeah, I'm still bad at seeing delayed T spins. Yeah. All right. So this is pretty standard situation. Good learning opportunity. There are two obvious positions for the JPs. How do you pick which one to pick, which one to go for? Um, well, two three or three four makes like a more, like a bigger connected surface, and three or what is that five six keeps like two smaller connected surfaces. I see. So yeah. it's you basically want a bigger surface, especially with the square next. Right, and bigger surfaces means that you can stack more as a general rule. Very strong rule of thumb, that's what you go with. And we'll see if this resolves. It resolves. We, we, we knew that it would resolve. Yeah. And Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy. Ooh, very, very nice. So this is a yeah, real... I think this is a very it. hard adjustment to commit to because the two positions for the T are right here and right here, and they're on the opposite sides of the board. Yeah. All right. 
All right, the advantage of this is that even if you make the wrong decision, it's still technically not worse than just like picking something from the very beginning. So you're always encouraged to go for this. Yeah. But you see the Z piece, then you move the T to the right, and now your board is looking real nice. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, was that like an anti? Was was that like a panic move? Because I don't, I don't know. I was. I think I was looking for it, but I just didn't see it. All right, and then okay, then he like reacted like maybe a bit too late. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the nice Cause things. There, that's like... Yeah. Yeah. I was because putting oh, rotating the T like that is the best way to hover, which is actually something. I learned from watching Beta Tetris is like how to hover way better. Yeah. Because that T rotation is like if you get a J, you only have to rotate it once. And if you get anything else, you just don't have to rotate it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so like, oh, just in terms of like, that is interesting. Just like this is like a better default rotation then? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And also, I wanted to say like, one of the nice things about adjustments is that. Even if you miss them, th that should mean if you do them correctly, you're just going to a default, and defaults positions are usually good. Okay, yeah, this is pretty standard. Multiple positions for the square, you picked the one that would get you Tetris ready. Alright. And yeah, great board. All right, so you try and close up the hole. Closing up the hole is usually preferred, I think, because it leads to flatter surfaces, generally. There are exceptions, of course. Yeah. Oh, this is oh that's nice. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Anytime there's, like, a configuration where it seems like there are like maybe two moves that look pretty good. All right, so that can trip beginners up because it causes indecision. But to the experts, okay, that is an adjustment. Wanna... You, what, what, wait, it, was this so, deliberate? This was it. I was a few games before. I realized that I was doing S flat in positions with like a flatter stack. And I was like, okay, I should be like... And I noticed that you sort of never do that. Do I? Like, I would do as flat in positions where, like, the two in the middle were, like, filled in, and it was, like, a flat stack. I would always do S flat there, and it would kill me a lot. So oh. I was really focused on not putting the S flat there, and it kind of led to... Interesting. Move. I mean, so I, I think the result is not funny. bad by any means. Yeah. Ooh, okay, how, how do we... Okay, I think we agree that's not ideal. How do we prevent this in the future? I think it's just to go square, like, one, two. Square, one, two? Yeah. That, that, that's hard. When you're, when you're like, yeah. evaluating, like, adjustments or, like, best initial placements, are you, like, going through, like, every single piece possible like next piece like one at a time or are you just sort of going by vibes no no i am definitely not doing that like a lot of the times my adjustments are not like pre-planned which is sort of something that i probably need to get better at is like seeing them ahead of time <laughs> so yeah. i was like yeah default square i guess there's maybe some advantage to like Something that I that, that I recently thought about that might be good for his planning is to like deliberately like make some decisions instantly, so that you give yourself like a lot more time to like maybe plan out on adjustments for the next piece if like it looks like a board that might benefit from that. Yeah. Yeah. O six seven still, um, but adjusts okay. the S to four five. I'm not. It's it's Tetris readiness, which. That's fair. 2-3-4 is probably still better, but, yeah. Honestly, leaving the O here also seems... Yeah, that was might have been the best move. I'm going to put the O 
somewhere in that territory and then get to Trinity. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I get convenient pieces. So. Yeah, good pieces. Alright. Yeah. Okay, pretty standard. And so, do you remember at all like what you were feeling around this time? Like at this point, or are you just, so, just like, oh, it's just another 60. I, for, I get these all the time. For some reason, 60 is where I like decide to start like really focusing like for what like when i was starting i did not get 60s that often so i'd get a 60 and be like oh this is like a run and then <laughs> that sort of just i sort of just kept that habit even after getting like 10 perfect transitions or whatever <laughs> does it affect, still, does it like, affect not... your mental at all or i wouldn't say so okay it just all right yeah I think maybe I think maybe there was an optimization that could have been I don't know really T dependent board. Yeah, I think. What do you think about this? That probably could have got stood up. Stood up in the middle. Yeah, that's think? most likely. Not. Yeah, just avoid the jagged. And yeah, makes sense. Okay, well you get the T, so. All yeah. is forgiven. Yeah, I that T there was way better because of the S. <laughs> yeah, still, uh, still Max Drought of nineteen so far. I think the odds of getting into getting to transition with like twenty or twenty Drought or less, I want to say is about either one. I want to say it's between one and ten and one and five, like ten and twenty percent. Ooh, very nice. nice. And uh, okay, we call that the Corian adjustments. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah. Okay, couple of really nice adjustments yeah, right there. Yeah. And okay, uh, I think interesting, like sort of meta description. So, how do you feel about here about like? maybe trying to like solve this do you sort of try and build out like using maybe the third column as much as possible or do you sort of try and slope it out here to i i try to i definitely try to slope it because if i keep building out the third column then i just am sort of requiring myself to get more pieces to build that out i see or build out columns one right. two and then I imagine there's also a trade-off, though, because if you're forcing yourself to slope out more, you give yourself less yeah. room to wait. So yeah. I guess you sort of maybe try and go for, like, a best of both worlds where you slope out here and then try and build out. Yeah. If required, then I... Okay, Enskelites and Twitch chat says, I don't know if the bar adjustment was optimal because it created the pit. I think the board was already bad, and that was kind of a consequence. So oh, yeah, here... I wonder if adjusting the J out of the square dependency would be good. I don't. I, I don't necessarily think it's better. I don't think like like your Z is pretty bad. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's. I guess your Z is bad anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we go there. Okay, I see. I see. I see what Enskelite was saying. Like, I would say that the trade-off here is that by moving the square over here and like making this dependency, you're sort of you're attempting to unify the stack. Yeah, and I like here versus having like two like separate up. stacks. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, and I, I have see a lot of time to wait. Or like a T and an S and a Z or whatever. Sure. Yeah, I think I think you made a good choice. People, uh, okay. Wait, I I I will ch I'll check it just to see what it's there. Okay. Yeah. Bye, baby. And now 
Bobby Waits. And then, yeah, and we I have get... one, and then we get another. So my my impression of these is that they can like fill up really fast. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. All right, and then we're just filling, and we got a bar. That's not that was only a sixteen droughts. Yeah, so it definitely could have been a lot worse. All right, go for the thought placements. And now we're 84. This is around two thirds of the way to the perfect transition. Yeah. So here is the was like, spot staying up after YouTube. It should be, yeah. This is, yeah, that that was just really bad. That was bad. Do you know? Do you remember what you were thinking? No, I was sort of. I don't know. I think I was just not thinking correctly. This is the sort of this is the sort of decision that like I would end up with when like I really really want the J so much that it like blinds my ability to see what's actually in the next box. Yeah. And then I just make that placement, and it isn't the end of the world because the rest of my board's great. Or the rest yeah, of your I board. I do get a J very very quick. So. Yeah. It ends up working out as expected. All's well that ends well. Okay, and uh, Tetris. And then this is where Ooh. it starts to get. Okay, so educated. could we could we have seen this beforehand? Like, what is it about this move? That should indicate, oh, this could become not bumpy really fast. Or this could become, like, really bumpy really fast. Because, yeah, it just makes, like, a staircase, basically. It makes but a staircase. I don't know. With, but you have to, like, see the Z beforehand, and we don't look for that. Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of the only move there. It's kind of the only move. I guess maybe you try and, like, see Z accommodation somehow. So yeah, like what what yeah. makes this board like really bad for LZ? Do you just have to um, be beta Tetris? <laughs> yeah. And like I think the, go was... back one more piece. I think that was the bad move. That was the bad but it, it it seems fine, like Yeah, that's why it's just like Oh like good enough. I think it's just sure uh, but Okay, that's I I don't think I disagree with that, but I think Even it works out like, better, uh, but like six, seven, eight, or is this not three, four, four, five, six? Are oh, you wait. are you setting that up in an actual game? That's that's seeable. What three, four, four, five, six? But yeah, I do it a lot in columns seven, eight, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Like I, I guess the, tr the tricky thing better. here is that I think you usually do that when there is a more well-defined hole. Yeah, it's hard to see when it's just like a yeah when it's open like it's like elevated this. even. Um, Algebra says that Stack Rabbit 1.0 wants T up four five six. That's a spicy move. That's like right yeah, here. I... Yeah, I don't know. If I, I, don't know. That. I, th I think I think this is just hard. This is just maybe one of the things that we're not capable of right now. L three four Z four five six yeah you know, that that that's what he does and at least at least to this which like that thank I T might have wanted to put that T flat thank the t oh my god oh is this where it starts to get interesting it this is like the beginning of uh, okay it's, yeah ah yeah. oh, he didn't okay not that it would have mattered but so I think here. The motivation oh, would be like, oh, it would be really nice if I could like use this piece that I have to make the left side flat. Yeah. And then that motivates you to like look for the T-spin because like if I get this, it will save my board. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even see that until now. That's way better. It would be, but it's also like hard because 
I think this being especially high kind of puts pressure on like your thinking. Yeah. Making the adjustments. So you do that, and it's fine. And this is unfortunate. Alright, and not... That helps. So much. Oh, he doesn't go all the way. I would have I gone all the way left 100% and it would have been way worse. That's crazy. Yeah, and then I get... Yeah. yeah and then, uh, okay, I miss... I... Okay, oh, last year, I... No. So, I was watching this back, and I was like... Wait, what? How did I miss that? I was like, I was genuinely shocked. Yeah. But I think I, this, this run in particular, I got like, I got like a little bit nervous really early, but I didn't get really nervous until like later. So I was until like, later. I was kind of nervous here. Yeah. Okay. Like not that nervous, but nervous enough to like make stupid placements. Yeah. Um, Andrew, it w Andrew, and me, it would be 3 2, yeah. And 3 2 is a good deal. I think it's a sensible default to, I, I the default square position would be like what like six seven I think give as much space for the ridge as possible wait you mean the square just goes three four right S square sh square goes three four here but like what what's the default move um I th think I don't I think I think it goes here maybe it's sort of maybe, like maybe here there. to like maybe here so like you you don't create as much of a ridge there. Yeah. But yeah, that was... yeah that, that's just unfortunate. Mistakes happen. Like we call this the perfect game, but it will have mistakes. All right, the game rewards some mistakes and punishes some correct moves. Oh, it works. And then this. Oh, that's so aggressive. I don't know why I didn't tuck it there. I, oh, would you I, have, would like, you have in the, it? In the, um, in the 1.5 game, I got in this, like, exact situation on, like, level 26, and I tucked it. And I think that's just better. Why? Because you have, like, more space. I think, wait, yeah. here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This makes you double Tetris ready. Oh, you um, did. Yeah, I, and yeah, you're that's true, uh, you're waiting for a T nonetheless. I think this might. Act, I think you might. I think this was better. Yeah. Double. I didn't think about double tetris trading. I I don't think you. I I kind of want. I think that that should have been. Corian, but yeah. Oh my god, this is this is terrifying. And you just rip it over. So all right, yeah. This is a pretty common pattern when it comes to these perfect games. This decision is, I think, really interesting, really like worth discussing, because two yeah, very different, one... two two very different places for the J. Yeah. You can't. There's no human on Earth who's gonna be able to adjust this for anything. Yeah, like, not that so... like the adjustment would make any difference. Why do you choose left? Um, because you really don't have any. You need to make space to wait here for another J, and this gives you like a lot more. Like room to wait for pieces. Yeah, and that that I think is the justification I'd use too. A lot of, a lot of like the stacking is just like, how do I make it so that I can wait for as long as possible? And you get and that, you know and and another, and wow. Okay, oh, yeah, actually I like that. So here is a bit precarious because now the J piece is locking you. So, yeah. what do you do if you don't get the J? Uh, well, there's some, there's not really anything I can do. There is. I, I I claim there's one. There's one other piece that you should be looking out for. Oh, a um, an L. Yeah. To yeah. platform. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I I'm definitely. I'm definitely not thinking about that. <laughs> like, this is kind of a... I don't know. I'm just not very good at platforming. Right, and I, the solution is, like... So, I think I think the solution is just to, like, have all these basic solutions. Basic, like, procedures known. Yeah. So that, like, as soon as you make this decision, you're, like, already thinking, like, I need... I want the L. I want the L piece. 
if the board gets yeah, higher. Yeah, I was. I didn't even. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's not. I think a lot of this is not seeing stuff in the moments. But you are you you're still waiting for a J. But if the board's really high and like it, you get an L, then you might like think, okay, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. And yeah, you were kind of forced into this good. double square dependence or double L dependence. And yeah, he gets yeah, every so single was, of these. That was a. <laughs> all right, this is all pretty standard. Fill the I dependency. Vitz, I, I, okay, using, I think that requires like two eye pieces. Here, here, uh, address him to address chats. Yeah, here they're they're yeah, saying Vitz, know. like two eye pieces for this is kind of gross. I think. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, one eye piece and then you tuck the T and then then you have like, tuck T here to set that up. That's not the worst. Yeah, I mean I. I'd much rather use other pieces. Yeah, but... I'd much rather use other pieces. <laughs> Though, I think maybe... Okay, we got... Oh, we didn't even get it. Okay, I, I think I cheated. Okay. So we're here right now. This is all pretty straightforward. Yeah, so I'm, I basically... Okay, just... yeah, you're just trying to fill the middle, and, and you get that, and I remember now the... Uh, um, also, I got a lot of very convenient Go back S to the pieces S. this game. Dude, S pieces can be pretty good, I think. And I had 80. Oh, that, had that, this, is, this is interesting. I have questions about that, but. Yeah, uh, Guafi, I have no clue what S piece you're talking about, so. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna keep going. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so I, I had a lot of S pieces in this game, but. Um. They were good. They I had good? 81. 81. Which was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and you had, like, what, 58 bars at top yeah. outs? When you set the tuck. Somebody points it out. I, I only didn't. I used, like, six bars or something, not for Tetris. Okay. So. Was this, six, this, like this, 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 will, this looked like, like a default for you. Would you make the same move again? Put it again in 2 3? I think I would. This is something I learned from you, where, like, when I started, I was really scared of hitting bar dependencies on the left, but, like, I sort of got, like, more okay with making them. Yeah, and this is, that's funny, because I think this is something I might have learned from, I, I might have learned indirectly from Coster. Coster? Yeah. No, I, I just, I think he roasted me once for, like, avoiding dependencies. Either him or Supermines on stream yeah. once, and like I think I brushed him off first, and then I started doing it, and it like felt more comfortable. Yeah, I think two three is good. I my default is probably eight nine. Is that immediately yeah, bad? Is um, you have a you can you have a decent amount of outs. Like you can what, get like, like a square, square, and then, square then it's and then and then it's decent L. JP resolves immediately. L piece is decent. And you have the right side to take care of all the bumpy spots. Or the left side to take care of all the bumpy spots. People are saying six T or S six seven, which is I don't I don't okay, you're not reacting to the T at this heights. It may, maybe you are Actually yeah, that's that's true. Maybe Wait, how, how how many rows is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's half a second. I I don't know. This is this is hard. But not not at seven hundred k perfect. Not at seven hundred k perfect. This is I I think far from a standard situation, and you're gonna be slow on that. Yeah. Okay, this is a bit of a rant, but like this is kind of the main gripe I have with puzzles. That aren't yeah. like in <laughs> well, actual games because anybody who has done. I think any stack rabbit puzzle, or like any like stacking puzzle ever, has spent more than a second making their decision. Yeah, but I think it sort of trains you to see it faster. I don't know. Like I do it, some it does sessions where to, it, it does to some extent, but then also I I, I think they don't the, 
I, I think the taking this knowledge and like actually like figuring out how to make it so that you can see this in a normal game that is not discussed enough yeah okay what's happening in youtube double the uh, dependencies sorry i haven't been keeping track with the youtube chat as much it's been a bit yeah so but you go for the bar you get you do go for the bar dependency there's a lot a lot of options there's always a lot of options and the thing is yeah. some of them sometimes are not even better all right this one is nice because it creates a stack. You choose. That was, that was an image remove. I probably should have filled it. I don't know. I, I think I think this is justified because you have a lot. You have a lot of be a, room to stack. Yeah. This is gonna be a, a common theme coming out. <laughs> taking the Tetris. Yeah. So then you do this, and you fill the here. Am, here. Like, I mean, it's it's the board. I so actually. Low. I was going to take the Tetris, but then I was like, wait, what am I doing? Because <laughs> I, I remember, like, chasing, like, I want a perfect transition. Like, I'm going to yeah. take the Tetris. But then I was like, wait, wait, wait. Like, why am I selling here? Yeah. And then you got the bar immediately and about as good of a board as you can ever hope for. The Dangler special. Yeah, so there. Oh, yeah, no, that, that, I... that is, that, that's, wait, that's a Luke Ends, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a Luke Ends. Luke I, I don't know, I associate it with you. did for some not... Reason. I do not usually do those, but after, I think I had gotten one other perfect transition this session, and I was like, and I died to like a mist, like, do you know what water is? Uh, yeah, yeah, the like, T, yeah. T, 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 either to the left yeah. or the right of the nub. Yeah, so I died to a mist water, so I was like, okay, I think I need to go for adjustments, like on 19, or else I'm just never going to get this. <laughs> yeah. That, that's that's a good T adjustments are about as safe as you can get because it's literally just like one rotation maybe a shift in there. Yeah, shifts. There under there. No, I think I think I make them. Yeah, these are these something. are great moves. Yeah. I like this. A lot. Where does it start going crazy? The square, I think. Oh yeah, oh, no, it's that. That's ooh. that was the, Wait, the, wait. I don't know. The, this feels like something that's not immediately bad either. So yeah, just getting S's after. Yeah. S's so square. how how are you? I'm. I'm always. I'm, I'm. I think I'm perpetually like interested in like how do you see these situations in game. Other uh, because I think just like just see it doesn't cut it for me. <laughs> Yeah. Given, oh, bro. I... So, okay. Yeah, you let's have go to back. Go two, three here. Square. This is, I think, a really hard board for the square. Just because there's yeah. so many options, and it's not because all the slopes are like pretty flat. It's not immediately. You have to kind of think. Two, three might just be a better default. Two, three might be a better default. Just leave the thing in the middle. But yeah. what if you get a second square? Well then, it. Then you just put it. it wouldn't really matter. Yeah, I guess, first. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. So two three here, but why is two three the better default? What, what would how would you explain it? Uh, I don't know. It's just like less bumpy, sort of. I mean, it's like I, more. It's, it's not less bumpy though. I more guess, of a more of a connected shape. I guess like leave the thing in the middle. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll have to think about that more, I think. So, but you go in the middle. I... Okay, I, 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 everything, my, all of my instincts are saying that like this is like the obvious, obvious move, but I can't see anything wrong with this yeah. either. I guess... It's... Oh, yeah, okay, 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 that, that's what's that, wrong. That's pretty bad. That, but also but, natural, because I mean, you're up still, high. Yeah. Even if you get two S's there, you're still, like, screwed. Which is what I got. Yeah. Even Welcome, uh, Adrian the... Wu, the creator of Beta Tetris, the uh, state-of-the-arts perfect game agent, says, uh, for this situation, 3-4 for OS, 5-6 for TZL, so... 
This was yes, optimal I, according to beta. And then 6.7 for the others, which I assume is bar and uh, J. <laughs> Makes sense. Same situation as before on 18, just higher. I don't remember which 18 situation you're talking about. But like, I mean, just higher, I think, is a massive understatement. Like, pieces fall much faster. Yeah. In addition, so yeah, there's that. I that's think that's fine. actually pretty good. Yeah. Ah, and then... Unlucky. Unlucky. Okay, that, yeah, at, least, I, at least these pieces fit. Totally and like, Yeah. This is terrifying. I was scared. I'm gonna actually go back and uh, play that at full speed just to really capture, really capture it. Uh, that's... <laughs> like, like, are you serious? Yeah, it's so, I was just nervous there. I thought I was gonna die. It looks so fast. Yeah, and you just go for it, like instincts, and you do this, and you take. Oops. Yes. <laughs> this is... You take the Tetris. I think this was also better because you didn't have that much room to wait at the top. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody's knocking at my door, I'm gonna tell them to shut up. I'll be right back. Not now. Hi. Uh, no, uh, we're, we're, I'm doing this analysis stream right now. Yeah. Have fun. Okay. That was Daniel, by the way. Say hi, everyone. Say hi, Daniel. Okay, but yeah, you don't you don't take the. I think. Okay, wait. Let, let's let me go back. This is also something that people pointed out because um, it's probably well known, but I, I used before I was the pace guy, I was the take the Tetris guy. And some argue that I still am the take the Tetris guy. I don't know. I've, I've seen you. I've seen you fill the bar, fill the dependency really high up. Yeah. Like, but <laughs> let's count. Like, how many yeah, pieces right. would you be able to wait from this? Like, the board is already ten high. Depends what if you get like. It depends what pieces you get. Yeah, but it's like it's like five, or seven, not maybe. Right. That's not fantastic odds. And I mean, it's, here like, you could platform. Easy. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think this setup is a lot more natural too. Yeah, filling. Yeah, pe people. In, someone in chat saying filling, but but you can't. You. I'm it's also no like, if you just yeah. don't get the bar, like. I'm also like a little bit terrified here. After that situation before, I think this is a good instinct, though. Yeah. So. Yeah, but you go for this, rip it over, and here I actually think you can't platform from here, unfortunately. So, yeah. knowing that you might have wanted the platform. I think would also be worse. So this is this, this is a tough trade-off. I think that's all. And then yeah, you get really shit luck. Here it is. Here it is. We're ready. All right. So I do want to explain like why this is like necessary and like even good when you're going for perfect. Let's go back. Let's go back to like here. All right. Take a look at the shape. <clears throat> There is exactly one piece that is going to fill this, and you need it to be filled at some point. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you might, and you might as well assume that it's going to go here. Yeah. It's, it's, the way I set it up also wasn't great, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's bad. It's not... Like, it what, like it's like not a visual slope. It's like the same shape, anyways. Would J nine be bad? No, J nine. I think it would actually be slightly better. It's just yeah, you weren't telling. Here... Okay, this is my this is my favorite move of the entire game. This is cold. I don't. Honestly, I was like, 
If I'm gonna get the luck, then I'm gonna get the luck. Dude, I love this so much. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, you make this. You have no idea what's going next. You just go for it. Like, I yeah. don't want I don't want to mess with the stack on the rights. I'm waiting for it. It was not. No, he, like, he, he, like, moves immediately. Like, there's no, there's no. That's <laughs> about any. And you're probably, like, terrified. Like, you're probably just, like, nervous like crazy because you just had to yeah. deal with a lot of stuff before here after so after i filled that bar that's when i got like really nervous because i was like wait okay. like I'm back to a good <laughs> yeah potato webcams analyzing pair for a scam <laughs> yeah that's how it is so yeah and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna play that at full speed just so people can appreciate <laughs> yeah it was right away <laughs> yeah all right let's take it a bit slower again yeah. And then here, yeah, you. This is scary. All right, does not fill the yeah, LJ. Is... I agree with this very strongly. I agree with waiting for that. And you get here. This is when I yeah. And here then... is when I actually started getting like nervous, nervous. Wow. Yeah, I know because the sport is perfect. Yeah, and this I was is like, like hang on, the right. best possible situation. You just need to clutch it. I th I think some of these placements I had become also a bit been, questionable. Yeah, sorry, you, you, you. I have been in this situation like four times before. Four times. So it was forty-one. I was 42, like, 42, 42. I really don't want to screw yeah. this up. And then you get here, you like that. You, you you make this move. It's questionable that. for a number of reasons. Because now you have this, and it's likely that Here, like, you, you just you just need SD pieces to fill that in. Yeah. And then here here is when I actually like lost it. <laughs> I was like, like okay, this is kind of crazy. And then. I just need to fill it in and get a Tetris, basically, which was... Yeah. And you find the piece, and then you go here, and this is and then, interesting. This oh, one, no, I, no, in the interest, no. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then no, was, the next piece is even more scary. Shit, this is like, shit, 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 shit. I was, I was... I was tweaking because I actually thought I was gonna get drowned again. Yeah, no, this is this is the worst, but it comes. Yeah. And you're here, and yeah, uh, platform yeah, setup. I, I see it. I see it now. Yeah. Do you want to play that one at full speed? Uh, the, at the ending. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here, wait, 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 wait. wait. Go back to like where the board was nice, yeah. So then you hear two Tetris is left. All right, you just like you really want the board to be nice. Like you're probably waiting for like, like you, literally like one piece. You can tell I was not adjusting. Yeah, adjusting. It was like, and then it's just like no, 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 no. What is happening? No, 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 no. But the bar comes. Yeah. And you take. A well deserved victory. Um, that was Andrew is um, uh, not at level 18, but level 19. It actually does. You need, what, 4,000 or 400? 400. 400. 400. Not that bad, honestly. Right. And Noah is, for some really weird reason, absurdly good at getting these. It is. <laughs> should, what, we, the should, we, should we explain the pay sheets? The pay sheet to Twitch chat. Yes, I want. I want my ego to be bigger. All right, tell me the what is sheet. the pace sheet? The pace sheet is a a sheet where you take every like. Wait, how am I supposed to send it? You it tracks the pace, the best pace ever at every line. So it's like so, the world record at one line. The world record yeah, at two. Yeah, lines. exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, but like, doesn't yeah. isn't like that's just like you get a single Tetris? How's that interesting? You, you have to. 
optimize your pushing down to get more push down <laughs> points at the beginning. Right, and you have to do this it on like, level 19, right? Yes. So, um, and they also, they have a, a leaderboard for who has the most lines that I happen to be on top of. No, uh, no it's actually me. Well, okay. <laughs> from... Okay. If you... From... Th on the 39 cap leaderboard, I'm in first. <laughs> on the unrestricted leaderboard, until, like, Crash, Fractal's first. <laughs> but... Personally, I don't care about record True. past 39 cap. For now. I don't think I ever will. I mean, yes. okay, efficient, efi like consistent, efi consistently points. efficient. Twenty nine, I think it's really under optimized. I think it's, I think it's. Yeah, but I don't think I'm gonna be the one to optimize it. Okay. So, what do you want to optimize? What do you want to focus on? What do you want to do next? Okay, I think that a one point two median into twenty nine, I think is the goal. In CTM for comp, in CTM yes, this is this seems achievable. I think very doable. I wouldn't say very doable, but the issue is that you got you, you yeah, need it... you need decent seeds and you need no mistakes. Okay, you need like de enough decent seeds. You need like not many mistakes. Yeah. And for whatever reason, I find myself to make more mistakes in comp. Uh. Yeah, I think I, I just need to practice like comp stacking and comp progression, basically. Wait, dog <laughs> got two million in CTL. <laughs> Bro, wait, does this take? No, wait, there's no way he takes my baseball records, right? No, there's no way. There's actually no way. Wait, oh my god, wait, crazy. dog's actually good again. What? How does he do it? Wait. How does he always he, he come back? He definitely didn't take my baseball records. Surely not. Surely not. Because that would have had to been ridiculous yeah. efficiency. Uh, Chen asks if you are going for Crash anytime soon. Um, I no, I <laughs> definitely not. I was thinking like, imagine how cool it would be to be like, like actually good at long games in addition to being good at pace. But I don't think I'm I don't cut out for that. So, so what are you gonna focus on? Competition. Competition. I'm gonna play, play 29. Do you have like any like final terminal goals? For that? any like aspirations? Huh. Probably to to not. Probably like like top eight CTWC. Top eight CTWC. Because I was thinking about this. Like I kind of set the bar really high, because I got really lucky <laughs> with my turret run. So if I like go out like. Like round one, that's gonna be really disappointing. So, yeah, I think I think you'll be fine. Are you gonna do any uh, number of max outs practice beforehand? I am not. I did. I didn't before twenty twenty three, and I am not doing it this time. So. Yeah, I think Clearly, I'm, I, I was think doing, I'm a bit burnt out. Of the, I think I'm a bit burnt out of it myself, too. But maybe like, I was thinking, what if like, you could squeeze like, what did what did you get? You got 17, right? No, 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 no. Sin, I've got 16. I got I got 14 again. No, like in your you did a practice. I mean, right? Uh, I got 16 in that as well. 17. Oh, I got 17. 17, I think, is theoretical max. No, no, no. Eight, eighteen I, also, might yeah. be eighteen might be achievable. Nineteen's out of the question, I think. Though you might, you might yeah, be consistent twenty five. You might be consistent twenty five max from nineteen starts, so it could be possible. I, if I like, got if I get good, then I could be consistent like twenty five to twenty seven. Yeah, that's. I mean, th but that's you want one point two median, yeah. right? Yeah, true. That's but like staying that. Focused on 19 for two hours straight. Yeah, yeah it's 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 such harder a brutal than three format. games. Like, kind of sucks in a lot of yeah. ways too. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me.
I think we have covered the Thank entire you for game. Having me on stream. Of course. Would you like yeah. to uh, self promote? Um. Yeah. I. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Follow me on. Uh, the Dangler underscore on Twitch, and I think I'm just the Dangler on YouTube. I post um, videos with non-exciting titles, but but usually the achievements are pretty cool, so you should go I check it out. That. Check out uh. Untitled video made with Clipchamp79 is a banger. I recommend that one. So, okay. yeah. Are you going to be playing in maybe any tournament matches scheduled for later this oh. week? Oh. Um, like people to cheer you on? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm playing in CTM uh, on Friday because my controller is supposed to arrive on Thursday, so I should be fine. I hope so. Dude. I was supposed to I was supposed to play last Sunday. And then Andy was like, Yeah, my controller feels weird now. Can we can we delay until the thirtieth? Yeah, that's somebody the dogs somebody got somebody, back to back one point three though. into. That's, Wait no, not yet though, I don't think. Yeah, see this is what I mean, like pre kill screen efficiency is still Yeah, yeah, we can Oh do wait, no. Okay, my, no, I think I think, my I think just is got really it. Are, are you watching right now? Yeah. yeah, I just opened it up, but it was really behind. He waits. Um, yeah, did he... What did he figure... How How does he keep doing this? <laughs> he's just... He's just decides better. Decides to lock in. Freak, he's in... Yeah. I have to play him in CTL. I need top stat, that's unfortunate. Uh, so do I, bro. He's in our division. He's in our division. I have to play you in CTL. Freak. Don't... <laughs> Just like, I don't think you should be worried. You should be a lot more worried about dog. I don't know. You're you're a miss too. I want I want a one point two media and into, into kill screen every game. <laughs> that's hard. That that that's a bit scary. But like I'm not even I'm not, I'm not like a one point one right now. I think you're ahead of me. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. One okay. Mega Master was good for like one of my stats. It was like improving like all the eight level eighteen and level nineteen stuff. Yeah. Is he listening to his own Spotify? <laughs> yeah. Hey, anything else you want to say? Um. Okay, I want to say, in a vacuum, this game is very lucky. However, there are some people who think that it is uh, it is all luck, but I want to say that this is re this is not true. Because, getting thirteen. 14 perfect transitions uh, cannot be luck. So, uh, Gerald Freeman, this is not a lucky achievement. I mean, no, I it, it's, it's, it's always a mix of both, right? Yeah, but Gerald was like... Yeah, Gerald's just a hater. Gerald's just a hater. Shout out to Gerald. Yeah, maybe way. I shouldn't be going after it. <laughs> it's fine. We know that he hates everybody, so it's, it's, it's mutual. Yeah. Yeah. Also, wait, Lapis in chat. I, I also want to say this. Okay, Lapis. So, Lapis put in my YouTube comments, uh, level 22 max out next. This is a level 22 max out. It is a level 22 max out. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Into the level 23. It's a level 22 max out. It is. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that's a lot. No, no, but Lapis, you, yeah. bro, bro, bro doesn't understand the linear, the, the linear interpolation of the yeah. max out lines. I know. That's what I said. And then he put, like, the nerd emoji in my YouTube comments. What do you mean? He's literally, he's literally glasses bearing you. <laughs> yeah, wait, I'm, I was, I was wearing glasses during the run, bro. It's actually... <laughs> I don't know. He's just a hater. I guess that's what we can conclude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wear your glasses more often since Kafka. I think, um, yeah. Dude, I actually, I got a new prescription, and I can see in, like, 4K now. 
Oh, that's crazy. It's crazy. Ben, uh, Benjamin Schmutter says in YouTube chat, it's lucky that he got it on that run, but skill that he got it at all. I think that's a great way to put it. Yes. That is, that actually is, I think, the best way to put it. Yeah. And on that note, I think uh, we raid CTL and watch it. I'm... Uh, yeah, is, 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 is the match still going on? Oh, no. They're not. It just ended. Ah, uh, okay. I will look for somebody that is streaming. Preferably right now. So, yeah. You got plans for tonight? Um, maybe. I don't know. Potentially. I think uh, I'm gonna. I want to try it in grind hover. I want to finish all of my assignments for some of my classes by the end of next week. Too. So I'll need to start too. We're gonna raid Asai. Asai the homie. That's it. But yeah, there's three different note themes in. Oh my god! Wait, no, 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 no don't crash! Don't crash! Guitar hero, circular note theme. <laughs> the raid has been created. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How many Tetris players on MIT? Because I think... I want to say there's, like, a couple of Tetrio people who are better than me. Like, surely there are. Like, we have X ranks. Is my... thing still good? Alright. Alright. Uh, I see the ray. Wait, wait, wait. Huh. Alright, y'all y'all wish a sigh... Happy, uh, happy notes. Happy note smashing. See ya.